this is Jamal Smith, and today we'll be talking about how to make your standard four string bass play and sound like a five string. I've been playing bass for over 15 years, and for just about all of my bass journey, I've been playing four strings exclusively. I love the classic aesthetic of a four string. It's lighter, it's more comfortable to me, and creatively speaking, I feel less it certainly served me more. Okay, so if you happen to grab your bass and try to play along to the track I was just playing to, you might have noticed that most of the notes I was playing were a lot lower than the low E that comes standard on any four string bass tuning. To achieve this, I'm gonna let you in on the technique that has allowed me to play more styles of music, play bigger shows and tours, and also give my bass more depth and range. So obviously as bass players, we know the standard tuning of a four string is E, A, D, and G. However, since the dawn of electric bass, there have been many advances in music, leading to an even deeper range of bass notes being used. In a lot of today's music, we have synth bass, 808s, we even have five string bass playing on a lot of songs and in live settings as well. So as an avid four string lover, I began to run into limitations on gigs and it actually got pretty frustrating. So a few of my friends recommended that instead of tuning to low E, that I tried tuning my bass lower to something like low D. This resulted in me tuning my whole bass down one whole step, resulting in D, G, C, and F. I personally loved it. It gave me two extra notes, the E flat and D. But I was still pretty curious as to what other low notes I can add using this technique. I'm a huge fan of bass extraordinaire Evan Marion. One day while studying him, I noticed he was playing his five string. However, it wasn't in the typical way five strings are normally tuned. Typically, a five string bass is tuned B, E, A, D, and G. However, Evan tuned his bass E, A, D, G, and C, resulting in an even higher range of notes for chords and soloing. If you're able to pick out the pattern, Evan pretty much gave his five string the range of a six string bass by eliminating the low register and adding the higher string C. This idea and concept got me brainstorming to what I could do with my four string. So as a result, I started tuning my bass to A, D, G, and C. Before I lose anyone, let me explain a little further. So on the five string bass, you have B, E, A, D, G. We're gonna remove the high string, so you have B, E, A, D, and then we're gonna drop these four notes down one whole step, resulting in A, D, G, and C. One more time to sum it up, I'm basically taking the tuning of a five string, placing it on a four string, and detuning all four notes down one whole step. With this tuning, it's giving me now seven more notes to dig into, all the way down to low A, which in Western music is considered lowest A. This could be really useful for any bass player looking to open up their range and try something new. I rarely miss the high range of notes for the gigs that I'm doing. It's typically all about the low end. However, use the concept and experiment what works for you. That's all this technique is about, no rules. All right, so thanks for checking out this technique of the week. I hope you learned something new and useful. If you're stuck, drop a question in the comments. And if you're looking for more tutorials, check us out on Fender Play. Peace.